Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can turn 2D images like the one you see on your screen right now into beautiful and fully customizable 3D models, which can then be used for 3D printing or even just as a 3D tracing reference within whatever CAD software you're using. So let's jump in. So in order to output a professional 3D object like the one you see on your screen right now, it's going to be important to start your workflow with clear reference images. So at Lightloop, we found that using images with clear or non-existent backgrounds tend to produce the best 3D models. So to begin your workflow, simply start by using either a text to image or image to image generation tool and create your first images in a studio environment. So in Lightloop, link to below, this is very easy because you can just use this prompt optimization tool and then select this tab for studio. And then from this page, you can set your material, your lighting, and any other important product details here. Now we have a full tutorial on using this prompt optimization tool, which again, I'll link to below. Now, one important detail worth mentioning here is that if you're planning on creating a 3D model from a single image, then when optimizing your prompt, be sure to select this option for hero perspective right here. Now, this tends to place your product at a 45 degree angle, which shows how the front of the object as well as how the sides look. So in a moment, I'll show you how to upload multiple angles of the same product so you can generate uh, 3D models with accurate front, side, back, top, and bottom perspectives. But having those perspectives is not 100% necessary if you don't mind the AI 3D model generator filling in some of the blank spots for you um, in terms of the angles uh, or perspectives uh, where it can't see. But again, if you're using just a single image, this hero perspective will more often than not help you generate the strongest 3D images possible. Okay, so now once your prompt is optimized, you can add it here and then simply generate your image. Now, once your image is generated, we'll use this image as a jumping off point for our 3D model creation. So all I need to do here is just download this image um, that I just generated by clicking on this button here. And then next, what I'll do is I'll click on this image to 3D tab right here, and then I'll upload my image. Uh, next, what I'll do is I'll select my file format and category, and then I'm ready to generate my 3D model. Okay, now keep in mind that when generating 3D models, um, you're going to be uh, waiting much longer than you would uh, if you were just doing things like generating images. So just hold tight while this process uh, happens in the background. Now, once the process is complete, you'll see your 3D image load here, and you can zoom in and out and orbit around your 3D model using the controls uh, on your mouse. So simply left click and hold to orbit around your world. Using your mouse scroll button, you'll be able to zoom in and zoom out, and you can right click and hold to move around your 3D model without orbiting. Now, once um, you have everything the way that you like it, you can save this 3D model within your portfolio by clicking on this save button here. But what if you wanted more control over the images generated? So for example, what if you didn't want the AI to have to guess regarding the details on the backside of the product not facing the camera? Well, luckily within Lightloop, we can toggle on this option here to upload multiple images. You'll now notice that when you click on this area to upload images, you can now select multiple images from your computer. So for example, if you had an image with the front, back, and sides that you wanted generated, you could just simply upload all of those images here. Now, if you don't have all of those images, but you wanted to create multiple perspectives from the same object, um, you could actually do that too by simply clicking on this image to image uh, generator here. And then you could upload the single perspective that you currently have, and then ask the AI to generate the back or side views for you. This would then give you all of the perspectives necessary to create a 3D model that takes these different perspectives into consideration. Okay, so now that I've done that, what we'll do uh, again in this case is we'll just select our desired output format type. Now, keep in mind here a couple of things. So STL files are the simplest uh, output uh, format type. They're just really raw geometry with no colors or textures. Um, this will be perfect for 3D printing and STL files are also widely supported in most CAD systems. OBJ files, um, essentially add support for colors and textures, making them great for visualization and rendering. And GLB files are the most feature rich. Um, they're optimized for web and AR and can include things like animations, materials, interactive elements, um, all contained within one compact file. By default here, we have OBJ selected. Now, personally, I found that within Lightloop, OBJ files create the cleanest geometry for product designers, but be sure to test the other file types here for your use case just to see what uh, best fits your needs. Again, once you're ready, hit create and then wait for your 3D model to come back. 
Now, once it comes back, you'll notice that your model has all of the details baked in from the different perspectives of the images that you uploaded previously. So a few important points here. In Lightloop, we focus primarily on providing clean geometry and smooth surfaces for you to work with in CAD or 3D design tools. We don't focus that much on texture or coloring or anything like that, as you'll most likely do that work within your CAD or 3D design program. Similarly, the geometry created here will be uh, very, very good, but it's not always perfectly accurate. This is especially true for more complex designs or geometry. Um, therefore, most people will use these 3D models as tracing references within their CAD programs. These 3D objects will help guide you towards creating uh, a geometrically precise version of your project within your CAD system, but the model itself will most likely just act as a guide or a reference. That said, for products that don't require perfect geometric precision, uh, for example, perhaps just a little figure uh, or not to scale prototype that you want to create or display on your desk or your shelf, well then these 3D models will suffice without any extra CAD work. Now, another important note here that I want to mention is that part of the reason these 3D models take more time to generate is because we're actually creating the mesh um, for you within each model as well. So for example, let's open up Blender here, uh, which is a free and open source 3D design tool, and we'll click on File and then Import. And here you'll notice that we can import OBJ files, STL, uh, as well as GLB files. Now I created an OBJ model, so I'll import it here. And then once it's imported, you'll see the object in the center of my screen right here. However, you'll also notice that it looks just like one single object with no mesh. And that's simply because we are currently in object mode. So let's go to this drop down here and select edit mode. And then you'll notice after I do that, you'll see I have access to all of this mesh geometry. For example, I could select a face or an edge or a vertex and make edits to this model. So that's how you convert 2D images into 3D models, which are fully customizable in a matter of minutes. And remember, if you want to use the exact tool that I was using in this demo video to show you how this works, a link to Lightloop can be found below. Also, if you're a product designer or you're just interested in 3D design, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest advances in the product and 3D design spaces. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for stopping by.